Welcome to Trashy Thursday, the worst day of the week where I will play the worst games of all time. <laughs> Today's game, Rise of the Robots for Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> and now it's time to get fucked. <laughs> All right, Sega Mega Drive. Yes, not Genesis, because this game was never released in North America, because it's terrible. Ugh, acclaim. How could you release a bad game <laughs> in the 90s? Oh, all these companies. Oh, boy. All right. Rise of the Robots. This looks good, except that at the bottom of the screen, uh, it's sort of cut off. We see, like, the space is floating. So there's like this big black bar, and I'm assuming it's to save on like RAM and stuff, because the game just can't take it. Because apparently this game is very demanding on the um, on the console, so it's uh, oof, oof. I'm getting these uh, these flashback flashbacks. Oof, this cutscene. Oof. This is raw. And I'm not talking about WWF here, ugh, or WWE now. This is, uh, what am I watching? There's the ship, but they keep putting it in the corner of the frame so that they don't have to have it too much high in center, so they don't have to render too much of it. Uh, it's either far away or in the corner. It's amazing all the, 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 ironically, the corners that they cut. All right, let's see. Okay, so, enemy downloading. Let's, let's see what the enemy is. All right, so this enemy is... Oh, even the text I have to wait for? All right, the loader class one, loading robot. All right, let's go. So low, 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 combat abilities, poop. I mean, poor, it says poor. It just, it looks like poop. Um, let's go. All right, prepare to fight. All right, let's kick this guy's ass. Okay, so the gameplay is very, very clunky. I, I guess it makes sense when you're like a, a robot, but I'm supposed to be like this futuristic android. And I'm 100% sure the combat is this simplified uh, and this clunky because of the graphics. Because like right now the graphics look okay, but at the time the graphics was all anyone could ever talk about. Like this game like sold itself for a whole year, like pre-orders out the ass because of the graphics of this game. Uh, this game looked very good. Like, in screenshots, this game was a million dollars. But when it came time to, like, actually playing the game, uh, well, famously this game, all the critics got to play it, like, a couple of days before release. Um, there was, a, there was of course, a planned Genesis version, uh, but that didn't go over so well, so all they, all there was left was uh, to release it in Europe. So this game came out on the Mega Drive, uh, which is the Japanese and European Sega Genesis. This is for the European Mega Drive. So that's why I don't say Sega Genesis uh, for this one. But yeah, okay, so the first enemy is kicking my ass. I won one. Um, I seem to be doing okay with jump kicks, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep trying to jump. Not exactly jump kicks, jump and then kick. That's what I'm trying. Because I can't jump kick. There's no fluidity to the motion. I really can't explain it. But it's like if you had Street Fighter playing at uh, 10 frames a second. Um, it feels like Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy. That's how it feels like. If anybody's played Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy, um, that's how it feels like. Really? The first enemy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I refuse. All right? I refuse. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have to, you know, push a little harder. Come on, Jerome. All right. This, the cutscene that's gonna melt my console. No thanks. Okay. Again, these cutscenes, well, uh, not these, these little, like, in intros of the characters, those pre-rendered character graphics are really cool. The cutscenes, not so much, but uh, the, the character graphics look pretty good. This is pretty much the natural evolution of what Donkey Kong brought to the table, Donkey Kong Country, where they use pre-rendered assets on uh, 2D uh, skeletons. Um, so it's like sprite work, but it's also pre-rendered assets, so it looks like a million bucks. Um, Alright, come on, come on! <sighs> Come on, I just want to beat the first guy at least. Come on. Come on! Okay. It's a time up. It's a little bit cheap, but the game's a little bit cheap. 
Um, as you notice, there's also the big black bar at the bottom. Once again, probably to save on the, uh, the processing power of the console, I, I can feel the Sega Mega Drive is, like, gonna burn up because of this game. <laughs> oh my god, it's just jumping and punching and kicking. It's, it's, it's really bad. Um, if ever you haven't played this game before, I strongly suggest you find a way either... A, on Super Nintendo, it was available for, uh, for American audiences, so I, I... I encourage you, in a very schadenfreude way, to, like, like, go look it up. Alright, so I beat this guy. Yes! Okay, cool. We got this nice pre-rendered defeat shot. You know, I didn't need the flying ship at the beginning. Could have just been pre-rendered shots that would have looked a million, a million times better. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, we got Optimus Primal over here. The Transformers Transmetals version. Or no, wait, what was that one? Beast Machines. That's the Beast Machines version of Optimus Primal. I don't know if you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going very far with those references, but um, yeah. All right. So already this guy has a power rating of high. So we go from low to high. Thanks. We're not gonna go like to medium or something. Build it up. Uh, I don't think the game wants to waste any time. Uh, from what I remember about this game, there's like six enemies total. So let's try to see if we can maybe uh, beat a couple more. This fight is just... What's going on? He just keeps doing the same move. I keep doing the same move, and he keeps doing the same move. What the hell is this fight? I, am I gonna win with a timeout again? Come on! Come on! Come on! Ugh. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Whatever, Mr. Monkey Man. I don't care. I'll beat you with a timeout. Like I care. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Come on! Ugh. This is so clunky! It's like... It's like what they have Greedo say in the Star Wars re-edits. It's McClunky! Ugh. It has a very European design. Um, by that I mean like games like Amiga fighting games or something. It's very... It's very not fluid. They, they really push the graphics instead of pushing... Uh, the actual gameplay and I know I'm not like the first person to say like hey graphics over gameplay every time of the day like I, I honestly I like a good looking game I do like that we are now in the 21st century and that games look though as good as they do sometimes but I must admit if a game played this badly but looked this good at least for the time eh, I'd be a little mad too all right so now we got this uh this Ra velociraptor looking thing or whatever it is. Crusher. But it looks like the creature, the, it looks like the robot, the least capable of crushing. That's fine. Let's, let's keep trying. Alright. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Come on! Okay. So I can't just jump kick with this guy now. I have to be, I have to be smarter. Ugh! Come on! No, I'm gonna... No! <laughs> come on! Ugh, this game! Ugh! Ugh! I'm gonna... Time's up, but he are like it, I wouldn't have mattered because I have like no health left So it would have been like time's up and or my death like whichever comes first, right? All right, let's try it All right Ugh. So already like even the bad guys can make a score. That's weird. Like he's making a bigger score than I am already Ugh, Come on Son of a Come on Ugh. Ugh. Come on All right, okay all right, rematch time. Re- Oh, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, not, I can't even continue? You know what, fuck this game. 